but I will reformat that to XFAT and I'm gonna take the Western Digital Drive, plug it in and see what that's formatted it is. 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 What up, my techies and gamers? It's your boy Jermaine, back with another episode on tech, toys, and gaming. Uh, if you haven't been here before, go ahead and check out some of my previous videos where I reviewed some tech and some iOS 14 stuff, build some PCs and some gaming and uh, more of that stuff to come. And if you like that kind of content, go ahead and check it out and give it a like, subscribe to this channel if you're interested in seeing more of that and hit that bell notification so that way I pop up in your face the next time I release the next new video. So, have you been considering purchasing this new Western Digital hard drive? If so, then you're probably in the right place and before you do buy, you might wanna check out what I'm gonna talk about here because there may be some hype and it may live up to the hype. So if you've ever looked up and researched this particular hard drive on YouTube, you'll see there's quite a lot of reviews revolving around this uh, Western Digital Black P10 drive. Right, it's uh, marketed as a game drive and it's good for running your games, whether it's off of your PC or if it's off of your Xbox or PlayStation. So we're gonna dig into whether or not this holds up and if it's true and how does that pair with another drive I have in store as well. And what is that drive I have in store, you ask? Well, I'm so glad you asked. I'm glad I put those words in your mouth to ask. And that's the Toshiba DTB420, which is also another uh, external HDD. They're both HDD drives and both are powered by a USB ports, so there's no additional external power adapter that needs to go with it, which is great for portability. They both have very similar read and write speeds on paper, spec-wise, um, but we'll take a look at that. The only real seriously major differences between this is that, well, they're both from two different manufacturers obviously. But also in the construction of it, one is a pretty plasticky case drive, the Toshiba with the Western Digital being more of a metallic cover, well at least on the front, the back portion is plastic. Toshiba has a very smooth surface pretty much all around, it's pretty sleek and very slippery. The Western Digital has four rubber grommets on the bottom to kind of keep it sturdy if you're laying it flat on its back, so pretty good to have if you're going to place it on something smooth so that way it doesn't move because these hard drives are mechanical so they will do some moving depending on how much they vibrate and we'll look at that as well. We'll run them side by side Toshiba versus Western Digital, wait Western Digital should be on this side. Western Digital versus Toshiba, I guess it doesn't matter which way you're facing but we do want to do some crystal mark disc which is the software I'm gonna to use to test it. Some crystal mark disc benchmarks just to see how both of them fare running tests uh, just with the software itself and just kind of looking at how files are moved across from one drive to the next. So as far as the test environment goes, we're gonna to try to put these on an even playing field. So I will be formatting my Toshiba drive that I've been using for my Xbox One to the XFAT format, but I will reformat that to XFAT and I'm gonna take the Western Digital Drive, plug it in and see what that's formatted it is. 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 With a Mac, you can only actually read from the hard drive, but you can't write to it. So it's a whole NTFS Microsoft thing. So we're gonna go with XFAT just so that's compatible with both uh, platforms across the board. And another thing to even out the playing field and test environment is that I'm plugging both hard drives into 3.0 ports so that way they're both uh, on the same serial bus speeds. Um, the Western Digital does boast 3.2 uh, Gen 1 USB port, uh, USB speed, so uh, it may have an advantage if you actually have those ports on your PC, on your drive, on your motherboard, so. And the last and the, probably the most important part of the test environment is that I'm using an SSD as the parent drive for transferring files to and fro. Now that's important because you don't wanna have a drive as the parent drive that's slower than both of the drives that you're testing because you'll simply create a bottleneck. You can't have basically a slow drive that actually has a slower read write speeds than the two drives and it's basically these two drives basically waiting for the data to come in. Like, hurry up, I'm ready, well, what's taking you so long? All right, so without further ado, let's go ahead and run over to my computer and let's get the testing. All right, so let's go, let's head on over there. Let's, let's go to my room. What are you still doing here? Let's, I said, let's go, come on, let's go to the room. All right, so straight away, I plugged in the hard drive and I'm going to check and see what is the format on this, uh, whether it's 
uh, NTFS, if it's uh, FAT32 or XFAT. And as we look, as we can see here at the bottom, it is indeed XFAT32, which is perfect. I don't have to um, format this. It comes directly out of box with the XFAT format, which is compatible with both Windows and Mac. So nothing to be done here. So here you can see I have it on real world performance as part of my uh, test uh, environment. And right off the back, looking at it, you chased, you're, you're testing with a one gig uh, transfer test file and it's already reading at 134, which is pretty much on par with what's advertised. So very good read speeds at 134 and looking at write speeds, 129 very fair as well. So we're looking at a very decent um, HDD hard drive, even running at 54 RPM. So we wanna see how it does with 108 megabytes, multiple files, um, relatively small files. Uh, so let's just go ahead and transfer that over from my Crucial BX500 SSD over to the Western Digital Black Drive. All right, so let's just highlight these drives and drag it over to the uh, Western Digital Black SSD and see what we get. How fast does that move? And it is one, two. All right, two seconds, if that, just to transfer all of these files, which is very good in my experience. Let's delete that. And let's go over here to some of my uh, larger video files and pick something relatively bigger than that, just a single file and see how well that does. Here we go, 2.1, 2.13 gigs. Let's see how fast that travels from the SSD to the Western Digital Black. And already off the back, I am seeing the somewhat advertised drive speeds at uh, averaging 123, 124 megabits per second. And that took about close to 10 seconds, if that. Go ahead and backtrack and count it. That's actually very good for HDD speeds, even at 5,400 RPMs. So very nice. But let's go ahead and see if we can get something a little bigger than two gigs, just to see uh, what we're really working with here, right? Here we go, 14.5 gigs. This is what I'm talking about. Let's go ahead and drag and drop that and see what we get. What we get. All right, so we're running about the bend here. We got that uh, 1.5 gigs or so left on this drive and the speeds have been stable through and through, uh, averaging at 124 megabits, not shabby at all. All right, so I went ahead and plugged in my Toshiba uh, Canvio hard drive and I'm gonna set it to uh, format to XFAT default, two terabytes. All right, so here we are at Crystal Disk Mark once again and we're gonna test it with the same environment variables and we're going to uh, run it, see what we get with uh, read write speeds. Again, uh, five pass, one gig, uh, and this is two terabyte. And oh, look at that. What do we have here? What do we have here? 160 megabits read speed. Am I seeing what I'm thinking I'm seeing here? All right, let's just uh, let this run through and see what we get as write speed. Look at that, 145 write speed. So already off the bat, you're seeing what was the other 140-ish, uh, 130 something, 134 megabits on the other versus 160. So you're looking at roughly 25, 26, 26 megabits difference here uh, uh, on the read speed, and on the right is probably about 20 megabits read speed so yeah and coming around the corner we have the left left with western digital drive okay here we go and the results are in 154 read speed for the toshiba on your left and 130 read on the right for the western digital black p10 oh but look at this look at the right speeds the right speed comparison coming in at 126 on the western digital and 120 on the toshiba Six megabyte difference, not too much, but it matters as the files and sizes start to grow. But overall, I'm seeing a bigger difference with read speeds when it comes to Toshiba. So if you're using it for a gaming device, gaming hard drive, and your Xbox, your PlayStation is reading from this drive to pull data, the read speeds will be faster to the Toshiba. Now, if you're saving files to uh, to these drives, the Toshiba will be a little bit slower. All right, so let's look at a file here. Oh, look at this, we got a 10 gig file. Let's go ahead and drop that over at the Western Digital Black P10, and let's see what kind of times we're uh, calculating. All 
right, there you have it. It was roughly uh, two minutes to transfer that. Um, though it said one minute, 30 seconds, it was a two minute run. So let's go ahead and drop this over to Toshiba and let's see what kind of time we get here and let's see what kind of speeds, most importantly, we're getting. All right, so this, dry, this, this particular file with the Toshiba did take a minute and 30 seconds. So it was 30 seconds faster than the actual Western Digital. So the, there you have it. Uh, the write speed on that is pretty good. So anyone who's interested, you can go ahead and check out this Canvio Toshiba hard drive. It's actually pretty good. Uh, there's no sponsorship here. I'm not getting paid for this, but um, uh, just to let you know, this is something I've used and it's been working great for me. Pretty good price, $59.99 for the storage and performance. This is probably really good bang for your buck, hands down. All right, so there you have it. What's the conclusion? Well, um, quite an interesting one, right? So for pros and cons, I think that the Toshiba obviously is a faster drive, so it probably will perform better for you know, overall in terms of transferring files and data and for gaming and recording. So that's actually a better drive to run with if you want to do that. Um, however, the downside to that particular drive is that it is slightly noisier. So um, when it's powered on, it's plugged in, you will feel the hum and vibration. Not as much. I mean, if you're using it for gaming and you're just going to wear a headset or have your volume on and it's not a deal breaker, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. I've been using it for a while. That has not bothered me. Um, but if you're gonna play games in silence, I don't know who would play games in silence these days, but. But if you're a silent game player and you just wanna hear the sounds of atmosphere uh, and the buttons clicking on your controller or your mouse and keyboard, then this is not the drive for you. You will hear the vibration. But other than that, solid drive, not to mention it's way less expensive. Uh, $20 less expensive, depending on when you buy it, when you're seeing this video, when you click the link. Prices fluctuate, so I bought it at $59 at the time. It probably may still be $59, with the Western Digital being $74 or $80 in that price range. For the same uh, amount of storage space and slightly degraded lower uh, read speed, at least. And that's the real important one, read speeds, right? When you're playing a game, you want it to be able to read off the drive fast versus writing to the drive, which is mostly like when you're saving data and when you're downloading the game to the drive. So that may not bear as much importance as reading when you want to just play fast and you have a patience problem, right? You can't wait. That's right. I'm talking to you, Tech Bougies. You can't wait that extra 0.5 milliseconds to get your game loaded. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Chill out, relax. And for the pros of the Western Digital Black P10, we have a slightly slimmer case, which is very low profile in comparison to, you know, the Toshiba, but Nothing you really notice if you're not comparing it to anything. So it's neither here nor there, but it does have the rubber grommets to keep it steady if there is any kind of vibration. Another pro is that it's very silent, so you don't get a lot of vibration or hum, you know, no matter what surface you actually have it on. So it does have that metallic case, and it, well, I, well, 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 well. and it does have that metallic case, which is kind of cool to the touch. You know, before I actually plugged it in, I went to grab the drive and it was actually pretty chill, like it was like a can of soda. What? Uh, the metal was pretty um, pretty cold, so that's a good thing for cooling the drive down, keeping temperatures regulated somewhat, right? In conclusion, they're both HDD drives, right? Spinning platters, it's kind of an older technology, uh, both running at 5,400 RPMs. Um, so, you know, you're still getting kind of good speeds running at that specific speed rate spinning. What is that? What am I doing? All right, my techies and gamers, if you like the content, you find it informative, entertaining, give it a thumbs up. Why not? Subscribe and go ahead and ring that bell so that way I come and ring your doorbell at your door when I produce the next video. Hey, my next video is out. I brought it to your door. Check it out. What?